As a sales professional, you know how critical it is to build negative impact in your deals and to ask negative impact questions to your buyers during discovery. It can help create urgency, drive timeline, close bigger deals, and even get access to power. Yet most sales professionals struggle to ask about impact because the way they do it comes across as cheesy and even manipulative. When you ask a buyer, how is this challenging or how is this challenge impacting your business or how is this challenge impacting you? I'm sure you cringe and your stomach turns a little bit when you ask those questions and I have bad news for you. The same effect happens with your buyer. They feel manipulative. It feels contrived. So in this video, I'm going to give you three word for word questions you can start asking instead of the cheesy, how is this impacting you question, so that you can build negative impact, so you can build trust, because the questions I'm going to teach you signal a high degree of business sophistication, and so you can feel good about how you're building negative impact, and you're not going to feel cheesy, manipul manipulative, or anything like that. So the first question is, how is that showing up in the business? As you're having a discovery conversation with a buyer and they're sharing their core business problem with you, the thing that they want to solve, try asking, how is that showing up in the business right now? The way they're going to answer is with negative ramifications, exactly how that challenge is impacting key aspects of the business, other functions, et cetera. It sounds like a question that a highly sophisticated business person would ask yet it's still casual and does not feel contrived. So try that one. How is that challenge showing up in the business right now? Question number two, what are the ripple effects this challenge is having on the business right now? Now, you'll notice that that is almost the exact question as how is this challenge impacting you or the business right now, but we're using more intelligent, sophisticated, business-oriented language. And simply or simply by changing our language in that way, we communicate to our buyer a higher level of sophistication. I've used this question personally probably two or 300 times at this point, and it works great. The way it works is, again, as you're having a discovery conversation with a buyer and they're sharing some of their challenges with you, simply try summarizing those questions confirm or summarizing their problems, confirm that you're on the right track, and then ask, can you help me understand the ripple effects this challenge is having on the rest of the business? It works spectacularly well. Give it a try. The third question is what I call who-based impact. As you're talking with your buyer and as they're sharing their challenges with you, ask who else in the business is impacted by this and how. Okay, the way this works is it doesn't sound cheesy because you're not asking it to the buyer. It's not as confrontational, even though you're using the same language as some of those other cheesy questions, such as how is this impacting you personally? When you ask how is this impacting other people in the business and how, your buyer is answering from a dispassionate third party perspective, but they answer in such a way that helps them appreciate the magnitude and the scope this challenge is having on other people in the business. So those are the three questions to start trying. To summarize the first one, how is this showing up in the business? The second one, what are the ripple effects this challenge is having on the business right now? And the third one, who else does this challenge impact and how? Give those a try and you're going to be surprised at how powerful they are when you get them right.